Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Welcome back to another vlog. You guys enjoyed the last vlog so much. I'm on this new camera and you can see it follows me around. It's like I have someone filming me, which is pretty damn cool. Watch, I'll show you guys right now how sweet this is. I'll just set you down and it just follows me everywhere. Pretty cool, eh? Can start doing some TikTok dances and stuff for you guys. But all in all, it's been a great week. It's been a great quarter. If you guys saw my most recent video talking about this Q1, uh, it was still profitable. Each month was profitable. Wasn't up to my expectations, but that's okay because Q2 is here and we're gonna have an even better Q2. I can just feel it. Putting a lot of importance on just focusing on the process rather than the outcome. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing multiple six figures in funding challenges right now. They're all in profit and that's the good thing. I wanted to have them all done in Q1, but I didn't yet. So I'll keep you guys posted on those, doing funded engineer, and doing FTMO for max allocation. And SFT, I had 200K buzzing on that, all in profit, up 4% on that. And then of course they went down, so that sucks, but moving on from it, not a big deal. I knew they were gonna go down anyway. I'd heard that for a while, and it was just kind of a matter of time, but kind of a gray, crappy day out right now. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But for today, today is gonna be a pretty chill day. So right now, I am chilling in the office, looking at the markets. I just sent out my markups for the squad, so, I will send out what I'm looking at for New York session in the Discord as well. Um, and I'm also in two swing trades right now. So I'm in Euro JPY, which I'll show you in a second when I jump on the charts, and NZD JPY. So both yen pairs I'm looking to long against the yen, and we'll see what happens. But I will pop up on the charts right now and show you my full blown analysis on that. I'm not sure if it'll play out today, maybe tomorrow, but it is NFP week. So either way, we'll see, but I'll meet you on the charts right now. All right, beauty, so thanks for uh, jumping on the charts with me here, I appreciate it. And if you are enjoying the kid's new haircut, I didn't shower this morning, but I did last night, so if it looks kind of whack, that's why. If you're enjoying the haircut, guys, drop a like and comment. Come on, let's get this going here. Let's get this buzzing, all right? Good energy, good vibes, all Q2, let's go. So anyway, here's Euro JPY. Let me just break this down for you. You can see we're clearly weekly, right? We're Holy, I can't even speak right now. We're clearly bullish on the weekly. You can see all the demand zones are being respected. On the daily time frame here, we have this big leg, right? Corrective retracement down into this order block that was responsible for this move to the upside. Then on the four hour time frame, which is where I took this trade, we had this order block, we had this imbalance right here, right? So this is the demand zone that was responsible for this big push up. And then I ended up entering using the OTE, using the FIB anywhere within here, okay? So I market executed, no, I had a limit at 800 right here, just before this order block to prevent any over refining. And you can see we are in this trade and my target is just over a one to three, which is, wait, no, this is wrong. My target, my entry was 800. So yeah, just over a one to three. This is my stop loss, obviously. And then I have NZD JPY, which is taking a little bit longer to play out, but let's just take a look at this. Similar to Euro JPY, you can see clearly bullish, respecting the weekly demand zones on the way up. So we came in this weekly demand zone and on the daily time frame, we had this order block right here, this general demand zone here that swept liquidity, mitigating this one and then broke to the upside. So I had market executed right here uh, on this trade. Now I planned on setting a limit at this low down here, which would have been the biggest sniper entry, but I didn't want to miss, I didn't want to potentially miss this because it did start to break to the upside and this technically was the order block that I did want to enter in. So I just market executed it within it. So I'm sitting just over a break even on this thing right now. It hasn't really left the station yet, but hopefully it goes up. I mean, that's really it. Um, AJ, I was looking at as well out of this area, but I knew there was a chance that it could potentially hold this area and push to the upside. I'm not in this trade, but this We'll see how this works out whenever this video is released. But I, I am in NZD JPY, like I said, and Euro JPY, and I have risk split up between both. So um, on my personal account, because I just, I talked about this in a video before, I funded a corporate trading account with forex.com. So yeah, on my personal account, I took this half risk on each because I'm only risking 1% on that one right now. That is my corporate trading account. I will be increasing the risk to 2% once I get more familiar with these swing tradings and start to see more success. And then my challenges are 1% per trade on here. So I, I usually do 2% per trade on challenges. 
So each trade for this one, since I split it up, is at 1%. So I'm not going to sit here and watch this. I'm going to get off and do some other stuff, work on some other things. Uh, so I'll meet you over on the camera. So today is going to be a pretty fun one. My boy Ara is coming down. You guys obviously know who Ara is. Swing Trader Beauty got me into swing trading. One of my good, good buddies. He's coming down. We're going to Tracer Golf, which is a golf simulator here. So we're going to a golf simulator. We're going to practice with our other buddy Will as well. And it should be a fun time. I'll show you guys. We'll do a little montage of that. I think he's coming with his camera as well. He just started vlogging. So that'd be pretty cool if I'm in his vlog there. Little vlog inception. But other than that, I've already done everything I really need to do for the morning. I'm in these trades like you guys just saw. And I kind of just set my alerts. I'm going to work on other things. Nothing too fun though. So I probably won't record it or anything. I'll bring you guys and girls with me to golf or a little bit later when I have something else to talk about that's on my mind. And... Yeah, we'll go from there. I'm going to get some work done and I'll see you later on in the vlog. One of the things I love so much about being a swing trader now is I have my morning back to work on other things. So if you guys have seen the YouTube channel, the YouTube videos have been getting better lately. It's because I have more time throughout my day now to actually focus on them, think of ideas, edit them better, all that kind of stuff. I have four hours every single morning now back to do whatever I want. So I jumped on the charts, showed you guys. That's literally how long my chart time in the morning is literally like 10 minutes tops. I send out the markups to my group. Like I said, I chat, check messages, etc. answer emails, YouTube comments, whatever it is. And then I work on some stuff. And then now, for example, I'm going golfing in the next like hour or so from when you're seeing this, when you're seeing this clip, I'm, I love how I'm able to do that now. And I just feel way more productive in every single thing that I do now, because I'm not just a slave to these things in the morning like I was for four years straight. So it feels really, really good. I just wanted to touch on that because I've been getting a lot of great comments from you, from you all who have switched to swing trading and saw the benefits and said you never went back. And this isn't a dig at day trading at all. Like I said, I was doing great day trading. I could, could have continued to day trade. I just wanted more time back. And um, yeah, I'm just enjoying it a lot. And I'm excited to update you guys as the months go on, as the quarters go on, as the years go on, you get to see the transition and 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 how well it served me. Uh, I'm excited to share that with all of you. All right, we are just on our way now to golf. I forgot my stand, so I hope this doesn't look shaky or anything like that. But we're heading over to golf. I'm heading over to meet Ara right now, and then my other buddy Will. So it should be a good time. I'll try and record like a little montage I'm sure we'll kind of be messing around, playing around and, you know, having fun. It's always a good time hanging with these guys. And it's about like a, it's about like a five minute drive there. So, but yeah, it's amazing. The, uh, the two trades that I'm in look decent when I left. Euro JPY was in profit nicely. And then NZD JPY was still kind of hovering around break even, but it's a high time frame trade. So obviously they'll take a little bit to, to play out, which makes sense. But this is, again, why I love swing trading so much. Like I'm in these positions and, you know, it's 1030 and I'm able to go on with my day and uh, barely spent any time on the charts today. Got a bunch of work done. And now I'm heading to play golf with uh, two of my best buds. And it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's a lifestyle that I can get used to for sure, especially coming from, you know, being a day trader for the last four plus years. So it just, it just feels good. I'm just... Like again, I'm not trying to convince anyone. I'm just saying like, if you find yourself being a slave to the charts, if you find yourself maybe spending too much time on the charts than you want to, this is definitely a way to go about it. Like I genuinely like it a lot and it's gonna be even better when it's summertime here in Canada because I know the Canadians out there were, uh, were just itching for summer and it's coming. It's coming a couple months away, probably a month away from, from warmer weather and then we can we can get our happiness back because man oh man when it's cloudy and crappy outside it's nothing i like to uh it's nothing i like to embrace that's for sure because it's just i just notice such a mood difference when it is cloudy and i put that on my poll I, I did a poll on instagram if you guys aren't following me on instagram make sure you do i'll pop both of my instagram accounts up all three of them go check them out golfing with the fellas let's see let's see what you got ara Oh yeah. See if he can smash this like he smashes the swings on and off the charts, eh? Beautiful. 
It's also worth uh, mentioning, he came all the way here and forgot his golf clubs to play golf. It is worth it. Let's see, baby. What happened, bro? What happened? That was a banger shot. We gotta count that as a hole in one. No, because you keep fucking playing mini sticks on there and you're fucking with the sensors on. Alright, here we go, here we go. Oh, damn it! That wasn't as good as the first one. That's OB. No, just cut, put 300 yards. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I'm good. Beautiful shot, bro. This guy's gonna be on the tour next month, eh? Oh, it hit the trees, bro. Oh, no. Get in the water, yes. Oh. <laughs> That's thirsty. We're cutting that out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This guy. Wasn't even that far. I can't walk off Sally like that. All right, so game is uh, finished. Just wanted to show you guys Mackinar and Will. 65 for me, 94 for Ara. So if you want to go and subscribe to him, I totally understand for that performance. And 88 for Will. All right, everyone, we are back from golf. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a solid like two and a half hours of golf. So kind of tired now. Hope you guys can hear this all properly. I got the uh, washing machine on right now. So hopefully it's not too distracting and hopefully this is picking me up properly, but that's the, that's the end of the video. It's a very uh, realistic day in my life today. I don't want to stretch it on any longer and fill it up with things um, that are really pointless. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of work later, film some case studies for my community and the Discord, etc. That's pretty much it though. So there's no point filming that and showing you guys that. If you're curious about what goes on there, you can look at my last day in the life. But I want to try and keep them as different as possible, even though my life isn't the most exciting one. Uh, I'm just grinding and just a regular person so nothing crazy hopefully you still enjoyed this so if you did please drop a like comment subscribe for the algorithm I appreciate it more than you know we're almost at 50,000 subscribers which is crazy so if you made it to the end you're not subscribed yet please do me a favor and do that and if you did enjoy drop a like and drop that comment for your boy what do I say at the end of every single video let's be 1% better every single day I appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next one